Frank, you were building up a war chest to do something like this. You've been doing a lot of acquisitions. Now you've done this one. This one, to me, is kind of paradigm shifting. You're bringing on Max Schaefer, who's got quite a, a track record in this era of gaming. How should we think about what Zynga is trying to do compared to some of the other you know, game developer studios that are also trying to own a platform, make sure the games work across different devices? Is your approach going to be different? Look, I think if you look at the opportunity we have uh, with Etra and, and the direction that we're heading here, what we're finding is that the biggest franchises in the world are now games that are playable on mobile devices, consoles like PlayStations and Xboxes, as well as PCs, all interconnected, all with one player profile with a shared economy and shared player base. And games like Fortnite and Minecraft and PUBG and Genshin Impact, these are billion dollar franchises that are able to give that kind of experience to players on a massive scale and millions of players are gravitating towards it. So it, it's incorporating what's great about mobile and all the other platforms and bringing it into kind of a new entertainment uh, platform. And what's great about it is that the tools that, allow, that are necessary to build this using Unreal Engine from Epic or using the Unity Engine from the Unity Technologies Company really makes this easier than it's ever been before in the 30 years in the industry. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper, the tools are very good. You have AWS on uh, as a back-end device, and then you also have 5G infrastructure growing very fast, which is making the mobile games very uh, performant against the traditional high-performance consoles and PCs. So it's never been a, it's really been a really rare time that you've ever been seen so many technologies come together to create such a market opportunity. And from our perspective being you know, a world leading uh, mobile publisher, we saw the opportunity to take some of our brands like Star Wars and some of the games that we make inside our portfolio that appeal to players on consoles and as well PCs and bring it together with our mobile players. And that's really, yeah. really the strategy. But Frank, what is going to happen with distribution? Because that to me has been one of the most confounding things that's evolved over the past 10 to 15 years. I mean, Zynga got its start really distributing through Facebook, which was very different. But then the, the rug sort of got pulled out there. We got Apple Arcade out there. I can't really tell how it's doing. Google and Amazon have these cloud platforms that they're trying to, to put forward. Meanwhile, Epic is battling with Apple over distribution and control and profits. What's your approach going to be to all of these various platforms? Which ones you distribute on and, and where you invest? Frankly, it's never been a better time to be a software developer because of so many viable platforms. First and foremost, you need to be platform agnostic. You need to be able to go uh, anywhere you need to find audience and that you can make great games and, and be able to execute. And there are so many platforms, whether it's Google, Apple, Sony, Microsoft, uh, the PC platforms where you have Epic and, and Unreal running, uh, or uh, Steam running some great stores. So from our perspective, the first place we start is we want to make games that can work across multiple platforms at once. We want them to be global games. And then we start to in invest in the design and technology that would allow us to create AAA entertainment uh, for those customers. And again, the, the, the great thing is that now on mobile, we're creating games that are very high fidelity. They have a lot of very high resolution assets. So for example, in our CSR game, we're, those cars are 4,000 and 8,000 K uh, resolution models. We don't have to do a lot of work on them to get them to work on a console or on a big screen or, or on, a, on, a place, on a PC. So from our perspective, our, our content can move around very easily now because of the technology. The consumer demand there is, is very high and the technical innovation coming from the platform companies is, is really creating so many new opportunities for software companies to get their games into folks' hands. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.